For our next example of a time and flow visualization in RAW, we're going to use something called a stream graph. Now here's the small multiples that we did a moment ago. This is a stream graph. And it's useful when you have a situation where you have data over time, and maybe you would use a whole bunch of stacked bar charts to show how common various categories are. To do this one, I'm going to use the same music data set. I've got it open right here. I'll just put it into table view. And then let's come down to stream graph. It's already selected. And so these are the options that we have for a stream graph. Right now, the canvas is blank, but let's start dragging in a few things. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take media, put that into group, and then I'll put year into date. And you see, we're getting something that's very similar to what we had previously. And then I'm going to take a market share and drag that over into size. And then we get a dramatically different kind of chart. And what it's showing us right here is the percentage of music purchases that were in each format over time. Now, truthfully, it's kind of hard to read because it's just kind of this big crazy thing. You have a few options. Now you can come over here, you can turn off the labels, but that would be a very silly thing to do. You have something called offset and most of these silhouette and expand and zero are very similar to each other. They're all going to look like this where they come up to 100%. I truthfully find the most interesting of these is wiggle. Because what this does is it tries to make each of these so that it is vertically symmetrical so that it's bulkiest in the middle and it tapers off on each end. And it's easier to get a feel for the growth, the expansion and the contraction of each. So you can see for instance, LP is really big right here contracting down as cassettes pick up. And then that tapers as CDs pick up for a really long time. And so this is an interesting way. And truthfully, it's really engaging because you know, it's kind of pretty you want to say what is it so you look at it for a moment. But I still find it to be pretty easy to read. And so a stream graph might be a compelling alternative to something like a stacked bar graph for changes in proportions over time.